Alright, so it's the day after I got back from uh, my Baja trip with the barf group and uh, and I washed my bike because <laughs> uh, supposedly uh, we rode through like a big salt flats area and uh, it's going to make my bike rust a whole lot and so far uh, and so far yeah it's starting to rust a little bit it, it, the bike did kind of get a little bit of a wash yesterday Let's see it's rusting here already this is the part where there's exposed metal they even like the mufflers so uh, I'm just gonna um, I'm not gonna do like a super clean wash but uh, I got some uh, foamy engine bright cleaner here and I want to go uh, I already see I've already sprayed it a bit and uh, and I've already started spraying the bike a little bit get a nice get that Baja, all that Baja dirt and salt off the bike it still looks kind of goopy, but uh, yeah, so uh, let's just go over the bike real quick. I'm like, yeah, it's rusting in certain places. Like the foot pegs, for one. That's okay, the foot pegs get smashed a whole lot. And I'm just gonna go over uh, how, uh, how the bike did in Baja. And uh, it did excellent. Uh, I have to say, uh, I'm still not happy with the suspension on the DR. I don't think I ever will be, but I'll see if I can improve it over this year. Um, the front is too stiff. It's not absorbing much of the much of the bumps too well, and the back is too soft. It's not. It's bottoming out a lot. Well, it's either it's bottoming out or this center stand is hitting it. I think I might ditch the center stand next year. That's what I might do. I mean, it's nice to have it, but it just hits everything. And um, what else? So, uh, but other than that, I mean, it performed flawlessly. I think it, I, it, there was a point where, like, there wasn't a lot of power. I, I attribute it to uh, having a crappy gasoline from uh, Scorpion Bay, or, or <laughs> after I changed the filter, the filter skin on this, it was like it was filthy. I'll help, I'll have pictures of it sometime. But uh, after I changed it, the bike got a whole lot. Uh, more powerful, so I'm thinking. Uh, thinking that dirty filter makes a big difference, um, or a clean filter anyway. But, um, yeah, I had one pretty big spill. Uh, I headbutted a cactus <laughs> with the headlight. This, these two uh, ties came off, and this was just hanging on this one screw here. I lost a bolt here somewhere, so I had to use a zip tie to hold this on. Um, the windscreen popped out of the ball joints, but I, I popped it back in. Uh, this uh, this um, bag here, the stitching's coming off because I had like I start I stopped putting drinks in here. This is where I put my like extra like Gatorade and stuff. I guess I couldn't handle the, so I just started taking stuff out of it, and it was got super light and didn't. I was able to keep it from tearing all the way, so I'm just going to have to sew that back on. This is a, uh, hmm, where did I get this? I can't remember already. <laughs> I got it on the beach. I think I got this at, I honestly don't remember. This is one of those beaches, probably. It's it's either, uh, either got this at um, San Francisco, um, or Scorpion Bay. Those are two beaches that we went to. Oh, and then there was the the, the flats too. This where I was at fishing village, but uh, uh, tires, tires, tires. Shinko, 805s did great. Wow, look at that. They sure took quite a beating though. Look at them. But uh, I, they performed great for a dual sport tire. They hook up pretty good in the sand. Um, I have to go pretty fast through the sand, like 40, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> keep this thing stable but uh it so uh yeah and then the uh, front the uh, front t63 i absolutely love these tires i don't think i'm gonna go to another tire the front t63s i mean they they'll last long enough and on the front and they they provide like excellent traction in sand dirt water whatever you name it i'm not gonna go with a different front tire um and uh 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the oh yeah, these lower foot pegs. So this is the first. This is actually the first time I'd actually gone off road with these, and they worked right. Um, I don't like how their feet are so low that it gets caught up on rocks and bushes really easy. But I mean, that's that's the compromise you have to go with. Um, if I was going to do like a lot of hardcore rocks, I would want them to be like the stock height. I think they're a stock. They're like about this tall. Um, but yeah, perform well. The car perform well. Engine perform well. Um, yeah, it's with that crappy gas. It just doesn't. Not that much power, and with all the weight, extra weight from the luggage, it um, not too, not too happy. Um, the rotor packs held up pretty good. It came in handy a bunch of times. Uh, we had to fix a couple flats and stuff. Um, it took a good some some tumbles, but uh, it uh, held in there. It's still here. I think the the little thing is loose again. See. See how it moves just a little bit, so I'm gonna take that out and tighten it. I don't know why it keeps on doing that, but it didn't fall off. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, see more rust over there. Yeah, they warned me my bike was gonna rust, and there it is. <laughs> and just uh, riding it through the, just driving it through the rain on the way back, that wasn't enough. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, so the foot pegs. They're so it's so comfortable having lowered foot pegs. I like it a whole lot. Um, I think I want to get rid of the center stand. It just hits everything. It makes noises and it makes the riding less enjoyable. <laughs> um, yeah, I need some better suspension. I still have to tweak it a bit. So I bit brought a little bit of Baja back with me here. Um, the tires and the tubes all. Going well, I didn't get a flat, so that's good. Um, yeah, there's hardly any damage done to the bike, um, besides like a, some scrapes and stuff. The typical scrapes and cactus punching. You can see, you can see there's some cactus embedded into the guards right here. <laughs> right? Um, and yeah. I, I did get to do some cactus, which also another odd thing is I know I just torque I know I torque these to specs. I can't really torque these to spec, but uh, my uh, see how these uh, these forks are are lower than they should be, especially they're not even too. Um, they're supposed to be flush with this the upper triple tree, and they're not. Uh, they kept on getting lower and lower. Never had that problem before, so I'm gonna have to fix that. I just gotta raise it back up and probably torque it properly. I was waiting for these mounts to break, but <laughs> they haven't broken yet. These my uh, homemade uh, aluminum uh, mounts have not broken yet. But uh, it makes it hard for me to torque these. I may go to a bolt. I think I might get a bolt here so I can. Well, so it'll be easier to uh, to take out because uh, I need like a small uh, Allen wrench to take that bad boy out. Um, yeah, other than that, it did really well. It, um, like I say, the DR, it does every, it does, it does, it can do everything, but it can't do it, do everything like, and that is a master of nothing. <laughs> it can do many things, but it is a master of none. <laughs> and that is true for this bike. But, uh, it's reliable. Uh, we had three bikes go down in Baja and uh, this one uh, this one survived another one another trip the bars held in really well um, uh, these uh, these uh, what is it? these um what are they this uh, rocks uh, anti-vibration risers work real good uh, whenever I drop the bike it would it would like tweak it like it's still a little tweaked right now you can see but it like it pivots on like two axes like right here and then there's actually the actual mounts the stock mounts they actually pivot also so uh hey it's better than having bent handlebars <laughs> it's uh saves you money right These handlebars aren't cheap and um yeah so uh, bike did really good i'm really happy with its results uh i wish the suspension could be better it's uh it takes a lot of energy to ride this bike through the rough stuff and uh, if I can uh, if 
if I can get the suspension to, to take, to like work a little harder to absorb the bumps and stuff, I think it'll become an even better bike. But um, I'm really happy with the way it performed in Baja. And uh, I think it's uh, ready for another trip. Uh, I've just got to work on the suspension now and uh, maintain it. I think it may need a new chain. I I forgot to bring my freaking oh I had a I forgot to bring a caliper. I usually bring a caliper to uh, to help measure the chain slack, but uh, I noticed the chain was uh, uh, quite loose the last time I checked it, so uh, I tightened it one notch. It may need another. I mean I need to check it with the with the caliper, but uh, yeah, it did really well. Filter skins worked out really good. Um, I'll definitely be using those again. I'll have to fix this bag. But, uh, that's it. Suzuki DR650. It's a Baja, um, Baja veteran. Two-year veteran. <laughs> the Baja. The Barf Baja 2016. And Barf Baja 2015. I did about 970-something miles. Yeah, pretty much the same. We did the same amount of miles as we did last year. At least I did. Um... 970 miles mark so that's give or take it's just a little under 2,000 miles this bike is done in Baja and it's performed spectacularly I'm, I'm very happy with it I didn't have any problems with the battery either the battery the battery was uh, worked flawlessly I never had to worry about not it not starting it, it always did and and I just hit 20,000 too Woo! 20,000 20,000 miles so yeah that's my uh, Baja after report and uh, look forward to uh, seeing more uh, seeing my Baja thread uh, my Baja uh, ride report and uh, videos also this hang in there all my luggage stuff hung in there really good and um, oh I did uh, I did bust a strap though and I busted one of these straps up. These don't last forever. And I saw, I knew it was gonna break off eventually, and it did when I tried to tighten it one more time. So uh, that's the end of that. But I put, it, I, I have spares with me, so I brought a new one right here. That's why this one looks a lot newer than that one. And that's it. Oh yeah. Well, also the windscreen. I didn't lose the windscreen this time. I just took it off. Uh, but uh, it was in the bag. I, I put it in the backpack, and I. Uh, and I strapped it to the bike, so I wouldn't lose it this time, and it worked. <laughs> but uh, here, this is the one thing that did break off of my bike. When I went down hard that one time on that hill, um, one of the mounts broke on this. As he's part of it is still there. And I don't know how this got over all the way here, but uh, yeah, it used to be right here. And this is the one that holds my. Uh, all right, well, my I loop. found out that uh, that you can put these little uh, bottles of Teflon. Uh, chain lube from uh, Walmart and uh, I found out they fit pretty good in there there's a little bit of room and it wiggles a little bit and then you got the other one will be kind of stuck in there you have to use like a magnet to get it out but there it goes I found a good way to carry a uh, chain lube with me and before that because it would take up a lot of space I would put them in those bags up there but uh, yeah that worked good and I have slime in this one still the slime leaks out, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll have to keep it in a bag or some sort. But anyway, yeah, so um, this was the one thing that did break on my bike. And uh, yeah, I would, uh, it didn't cost that much, so I can just put another one. I still have the mounts. So uh, I may actually be able to make, still use this if I make a clamp for it. But uh, it's okay. Let's put a new one on. I might have another one lying around. Uh, yeah, so it's a good thing I, I found uses for these little tubes. You can't really put a whole lot in there. I used, I think this used to have my uh, my brake lever and clutch lever. Yeah, my brake le my spare brake lever and clutch lever used to be in here. I was like, oh, and then I, it's not locked or anything. So I was like, well, if somebody wants to steal my brake lever, they can. There's not much they can do with it. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. It's two-year Baja veteran, the DR650 Cactus Puncher successfully uh, completes another uh, journey through Baja. Ladies and look out. Yeah, okay, so the one thing I did forget to mention is I did bend the wheel. I bent it quite a bit. Pretty bad. 
It was probably when I when I crashed on that uphill too. Just one crash did that much damage to the bike. You can see, you can see inside the wheel right there. That's how big the dent, the bend is. So, time to get the hammer out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just that wheel. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure I'd probably this wheel, front wheel has some bends on it too. I hit some rocks pretty hard on the front, but no significant bends. I'm thinking of getting another pair of wheels too, so I can burn off some older tires. Yeah, yeah, actually I see a bend right here. Yeah, I got a little bend right here. Not, nothing bad. But uh, yeah, I know, I knew I hit a wheel, hit a rock pretty hard. And uh, this, this bike has done a lot of rock hopping. And that's the only bends I've got on the wheels. These wheels are strong as shit. And check the wheel closely for more uh, bends. I actually have one right here. You can see that? Let's see? Yeah, it's a little one right here. I marked it with the marker. And obviously, there's this one right here. <laughs> I look at under upon further inspection, it's a pretty bad bend. Yeah, really bad. Hopefully I can pound, just pound it back, but this is a very strong wheel and I can't believe I made that shit, dude. This thing's been through, through a lot of crap. I don't know, maybe I'm just hitting more rocks. <laughs> Instead of avoiding them, I'm going over them more, so... Uh, I did find two small bends on this one. I marked them. Where are we? Right here. Tiny bend right there. Hammer that back, and right here. I know one of them. I hit a rock. I was gonna go over it, and then I decided at the last second to go around it, and I hit the rock really hard. <laughs> I was like, damn, that had to bend the wheel. But I guess maybe that's what it did do it. So there you go. I got three bends on the wheel. Uh, like before this, I hadn't really checked, you know, but um. I don't know what I do. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna go look for another set of wheels, anyways, just to um, just so I can have wheels to burn some knobs off. All right. Oh, so I was cleaning the bike. I spent some good old Honda polish on my on, on this uh, 40F0 muffler, and uh, and I noticed this. <laughs> so I have no idea how long that's been loose like that. I'm gonna have to tighten it. So I don't know. But it still looks okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to check the gas. I'll have to check the gasket. It's probably time to replace the gasket, anyways. You know, it probably didn't do to not make the gasket happy. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I threw some Honda polish on the plastics to make them black again because they looked all yucky. I put the windscreen back on, so it's pretty clean now. So Honda polish on the fender. Boy, it's really white. <laughs> I'll probably throw some on the wheels too, maybe. At least the front wheel. And, uh, yeah. It's nice and clean now. For the most part. Gotta go tighten that muffler now. I'm using my gap.